Hi, welcome back to this YouTube channel and my eBay seller's account, GB Hatchery. Today, I'm going to be flying the Subsonics in Microsoft Flight Simulator Virtual Reality, so let's get into it. Alright, looks like we're coming up on a sunset right here. This is Greenland, and I think this is Iceland right here. So we'll try Vest Manager. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Looks like it's a small area just outside of Iceland. Ready to fly. Smoke on. Set my trim. There we go. So I actually kind of don't even know where I am. Just a small island off of Iceland, I guess. Gear up. Wow, look at these hills. That's cool. Little village. It must be nice to be isolated over here. But I'm sure it has its problems. Reykjavik Center, November 141 Sierra Julia is type 1 miles northwest of Best Manager 400 feet. Request flight following. You can see all the ships. I would assume those are fishing vessels. I don't know. I like fish, though. Seafood's really good. I might have shrimp tonight. Shrimp and beer batter is where it's at. If these people are having that a couple nights a week, they're doing excellent. Look at that, it's red. I wonder what that's about. Is that a mineral? Maybe that's what they're selling. Hope they don't run out. Looks like a nice place to have a four wheeler. I bet they're lax about the laws on four wheelers over there. You know they don't really hurt anybody as long as you're not racing. I th I'm totally for like common sense rules on things. You know, it's kind of like when you're a kid and you're growing up and somebody has like a four wheeler or something with a four stroke or two stroke motor on it. And it's like, ooh, that's dangerous. Those are illegal. It shouldn't be that way. The only thing that should be illegal is not having common sense. If you're going down the road about as fast as someone can pedal. There should be nothing to say. It's got this like this like naughtiness, like oh, that's naughty. That's five horsepower. You can't do that. Like I don't know who started that, but that's that shouldn't be like that. And it was like that when I was a kid. You couldn't have you couldn't have something like that. I mean, you could, but it was like this gray area of of illegality. They need to have some common sense reform on things that are common sense. If someone's putting around on it with a five horsepower motor, leave them alone, you know. That's my opinion. And it's not because I've seen it being done, being people being left alone, because I don't want to ruin that. You know, a lot of times people are left alone if they're being smart about it and just putting around. Especially with all the electric stuff that's coming in. I just put flaps down, and I don't want them down. It's not going to let me put my flaps back up. You got to do it with uh, the mouse, which I don't like. Alright, here we go. Flaps. Zero. These little things are handy, but... Kind of hard to work blind. Getting good at it. A nice little lake in Iceland. Here's another landing strip. Might do a touch and go real quick. Then I'll need the flaps. Then I'll do a touch and go without flaps. See if I can bleed off some speed. There's gear.
I overshot that a little bit. I'm going too fast. There's no way I can land this. I'm going 150. 150 knots. Yeah, that's not going to be a touch and go. Maybe just a little bump. Nope, didn't even bump it. Oh well. Live and learn. That's why the flaps come in. They really slow you down. Not a lot here. Kind of looks like um, uh, Australia a little bit. Just kind of not a whole lot. I think it's cold here. I remember in school they said Iceland has is kind of green, and Greenland is kind of a lot of ice. So they named them backwards. And Greenland's huge, and Iceland is little. But Greenland looks like a lot of ice. So that's that's what I remember. Looks like I haven't set my trim. That's why I hate having a nose down. Oh, there goes my flaps again. Damn it. There's trim I'm going for. There's trim for speed. Let's see about this. There we go. I'll just buzz this guy's house because there's nothing else going on. Day to die. It reminds me a lot of the FPV wings, the footage from the first person view flying wings that people were doing. It started being done like 10 years ago or so kind of about five years ago it got pretty popular let's go I can see my shadow it looks like a p51 Mustang that's cool this is remote control too I was telling myself that the other day you know you miss remote control and it's like well the gaming is all remote control. Get away from gaming for a little bit and forget what it's like and then go back in and you're, it's interesting to feel the control again. Kind of take it for granted. It's like it's uh, not that big a deal, but it's totally cool. Looks like I'm getting inland pretty far. You know, everybody's looking for the good life, and I think some people have it here in Iceland. People that have it don't know it, and the people that don't have it think they do. Here's some tundra, that's neat. Getting into tundra now. This would be a nice place to fly RC airplane. It's 
hard not to whip my head around. There's so much to see. I'll have to not. Chasing that sweet spot in the headset. You know, all this just makes me just root for the future of VR. Like, I'm just all on board for the future of it. And it's really easy to look at the downside. Like, oh, you're pretending. Oh, there's nothing actually there. You're on a treadmill of life. You know, all these negatives. But, um... Go watch an episode of Alone. And you tell me who's doing what. Because from my vantage point right now, this is this is amazing. And the future of it is going to be so wonderful. And I just overstressed the aircraft. I don't know how that happened, honestly. But... Unfortunately, I'm going to call a video on that. I would like to keep going. I think if I kept going inland, we'd see more and more of the same. A lot of tundra. Um, pretty nice looking. But uh, unfortunately, I, I overstressed the aircraft. That thing, it's just over 200 knots. It will totally uh, stress the aircraft. And um, some of the specs on kit planes here. Here I have the the kit planes and when I look that up they have um, an interview and things like that Let's see here. so they have like um, there's a thing and they have let's see if I can get that in view Here's the subsonics. You can see it looks just like what they're showing. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Is that the wrong side? There you go. You can see the um, the cockpits just like they show in the simulator. But here's thrust is 247 pounds. The length is 24 inch, which seems weird. What's the length? Outside diameter is 10 inch. So this is the turbojet engine. It's uh, 10 inch diameter. Total weight is 45 pounds. Electrical power output is 750 watts. So it must have some generator inside. Fuel is Jet A, JP5, JP8. And operating range 26,000 feet. Start altitude 13,000 feet. Start speed is less than Mach 0.4. So, there's the subsonics here. You can see the factory where they're making the subsonics. I don't know if this is coming in very well. It's possible that it's going to be blurry because of. Um, focus on the camera but um, that's, a sub that's a real one and that's a person the practical jet arrives looks like this page is coming out it's kind of unfortunate So, um, the BD-5 was in 1973, the BD-10 was in 1992, the Viper Jet was in 1999, Comp Air Jet, I've never heard of that, for 1.2 million, 2004. So 1.2 million is a lot of difference between like 150K. 150K would get the subsonics. Now that's more than most people can spend on anything other than a house over a lot of time. And that replaces something like a apartment anyway. But um, I was hoping for some more specs on the the subsonics. Here's uh, the airframe length is 16 feet. The wingspan is 18 feet. So I was right about that. In one of these videos, I said it looks like about eight or nine feet just to stand there and look at it, and that's what it is. It's 18 feet. Wing area is 60 square feet. 
So that's like five or six pounds per square foot of uh, lift. Maybe, what, how much does it weigh? Total empty weighs 500 pounds. So that's like nine pounds per square foot. 40 gallon. Max level speed is 265 miles an hour. So they're killing me in the game at like 220 knots, which might be about 265, but that's max level speed. It sh that shouldn't be blow the wings off and you die speed. I mean, maybe they're trying to cruise speed is 240 plus miles per hour. So why is the simulator killing me at 240 miles an hour and saying no more? 1600 feet per minute. Stall speed is 58 miles an hour. Clean stall speed is 64. Landing configuration. So it's about 58, 59 with the landing down. And that's what I just, uh, in one of these videos, I actually experienced that. It's about 58, 59. It starts to fall out of the sky. Range is 480 statuette miles. Kit price is $130,000. Estimated completed price is 150 to 200 thousand dollars. Build time is 300 hours. So yeah, might want to sell a few things and, and end up in the subsonics. So that's interesting. It's interesting that it's killing me though. It's it's taking me out of the game, and I'm just going. I mean, you, this if it's rated for that speed, it should be able to go that speed and then have some overhead. So honestly. Maybe they're doing that out of safety. They don't want anyone to train themselves up and then go get a subsonics and think they can dive at 300 miles an hour and pull up really hard because obviously it's just uh, not going to do it. It's a good design, but it's, it's not an F-22, you know. It's not an F-35. It's still kind of a, uh, a Sonics aircraft, kind of like the propped one, but it has a jet on it, so... It's nothing I'm an expert on, you know. I'm not. Uh, I'm interested in it uh, mostly as a simulation because that's what I can afford right now, and I have other things I spend my money on. And even if I didn't, 200 grand is totally steep for me, out of my ballpark, 100% right now. But uh, you know, we'll see in the future. Anyway, that uh, concludes this video. Always remember, you can shop at my eBay store. GB Hatchery. I sell a lot of used items there. Other than that, I hope you're safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.